What is up YouTube? This is Work Knife Balance. We are back with another knife today. Uh, but before we get started, I just wanna go ahead and say thank you to everyone who has liked and subscribed to all of our videos on our channel. Um, it's just absolutely awesome to see some of that coming around. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, feel free to click that link down below. I believe you can click right here and there's gonna be a little logo and you can subscribe right there as well. Uh, but yeah, today we've got a Sativin ST237, I believe. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get that guy open up for you. This was something that I um, was just scrolling around Amazon and <laughs> saw. It looked kind of cool. It was only about 70 bucks. So I uh, went ahead and picked this up to see what we could do. Um, no surprise there. You got this just little cardboard box. Um, this guy is made in China, so so right on the back there, but just this cardboard little box, nothing to come with it. Um, no stickers or anything like that. Uh, first off, that's actually a lot heavier than I thought it was going to be. And ooh, I like that. That's uh, pretty smooth, for sure. That is very smooth. And um, ooh, it's a lot, that's a lot smoother than I thought it was going to be. Did you see how easily that closed there? I mean, that was nice. There's a little bit more weight to the blade and there's a little bit more weight in the knife in itself there, but I mean, that is smooth. For 70 bucks, I am not disappointed at all. Um, yeah, you've got this Damascus blade to it. This, this looks awesome, I will say that. I don't know if that's Raindrop Damascus or what, um, but it looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, you've even got it on the flipper tab in there, so when you put it closed, you can see a little bit coming up on the tab right in there. Uh, a little bit of jimping on that flipper tab. That is quite small um, back there, so you've got to make sure you get a grip on it. And then I think this is just decorative, this hole here. Someone who is probably better at a reverse flick than me can get in there. And yeah, that was more, that was more finger on the edge than anything else but I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. So just that back flipper tab there. Let's go ahead and get some measurements real quick while we got it open though. So first off, overall measurement, we are looking at about seven and a half, for the overall measurement. And blade, we are looking at just over three and a quarter on the blade and just about right on three inches on the cutting edge there. Um, let me get some comparisons. Ontario Rat 1. Ontario Rat 2. So much closer to that Rat 2. Just smaller than that Rat 1. Smaller on the cutting edge. Smaller on the handle. All around just a little bit. Kind of right in between there. That, that would be kind of like that perfect compact size. The Rat 1's a little too small for my liking, or the Rat 2, sorry, is a little too small for my liking, um, but it is a good knife. Uh, we'll go ahead and do the Para 2 real quick. So the Para 2's obviously larger there. Um, the Para 3, we'll go ahead and put that one down there. A little bit smaller, so kind of the same as the Ontario's. It's gonna fall right in between them. So you've got a good comparison there in between the two sizes. Um, as they go ahead and lay that out. But this is, yeah, I mean, that is just so nice for a $70 knife. Literally, I just scrolling on Amazon, saw this thing. It looked really cool. Um, so I thought I'd give it a shot, an impulse buy. And I think that might be what they're trying to do with that price point. Um, you've got the titanium handle you got the carbon fiber inlays through here the carbon fiber on the outside not really an inlay just a carbon fiber scale that goes on the outside there titanium milled clip titanium black sp back spacer it is on uh, ball bearings so it helps with that opening but I mean it is so smooth and then as that closes I mean for a $70 knife that is centered very well looks nice Obviously, wider than the Ontario Rat 2 there. Let's see. Pretty close to the Para. A little bit wider than the P3. 
PM3 there. But this just feels so good and it looks nice. I mean, you can't find a $70 knife with a lot of this detail um, that is gonna operate this well often. Often when you add a lot of the extra detailing on it and stuff like that, you, you're you gonna give up one or the other. You're either gonna give up on quality or you're gonna give up on the price and it just starts to jump on you. But this is done really well for 70 bucks in my opinion. This is a solid EDC that will catch a couple people's eye as you're going through there. I, I do believe they have another color. You can get the silver. So you can just get regular silver anno. Uh, or no, non-anno, I guess, just regular silver titanium instead of the blue anno. I like the blue. Um, I like having a little bit of color pop if you've looked at some of our other videos. It helps, I think, um, just draw attention and just gives a little bit more than the standard. But I do have a lot of just regular titanium knives as well, too. So, yeah, ergonomics are really nice on this. It feels really good in your hand. That weight balance is really good. I think... Your balance is probably pretty far off here. Uh, uh, not perfectly balanced, but uh, pretty dang good. Um, yeah. I don't... Now the complaints start to come to a $70 knife, of course. But I don't like how there's no jimping on the back. I don't like how there's no grip there. I don't like how these edges are so hard. You've got just a solid straight edge right there, just a 90 degree on it. I wish you had a little bit more in there. Uh, I wish you had some jimping on the back. I wish that choil was a little bit larger. Maybe bring it as a 50-50, cut into here a little bit. But it's not a bad knife. This would be cool if it came up a little bit more on that blade profile. So that blade profile came out just a little bit further and, or if the handle cut in a little bit further so you could actually use that flick rather than turn it into, oh, hey, look, there we got it. Um, but that is not easy by any means. If you are not good, like I am not that great at it, um, it's gonna be hard to get in there and flick that for sure, so. Yeah, overall, I'd say this is a pretty solid knife. There are complaints, but for a $70 knife, you can't really complain too much because it is only 70 bucks. It is absolutely fantastic for what it is. A really nice EDC uh, for someone who wants to have something that looks a little bit more expensive, looks a little bit nicer than it actually is, but still operates really well. So, yeah. Until next time, Sativan ST237 right there. We'll go ahead and put the link in our description down below. But until next time, TTFN.